sleep paralysis. One night while you're asleep, you suddenly feel an invisible weight pressing down on your body. This sensation is heavy and suffocating, particularly in your chest. Fear grips you as you struggle with all your might to wake up, yet your limbs feel paralyzed and you're unable to move. You attempt to scream, but no sound emerges, as if someone is blocking your throat. You thrash around in a state of helplessness within your mind. However, your body remains still and gradually the sensation fades away. You awaken and regain control of your limbs, but you feel incredibly tired, drenched in sweat. This phenomenon is commonly referred to as sleep paralysis. Was it some dark force attacking you while you slept? Or was it something else entirely? Let's explore in the following video. Almost everyone experiences sleep paralysis once or twice in their lifetime, but for some it's more frequent, happening several times a month. According to science, individuals prone to sleep paralysis are those who experience psychological stress or believe in invisible forces such as ghosts or demons. In more colloquial terms, they might be spiritually weak, or it can occur due to physical fatigue, changes in sleeping positions, and various other factors. I also believe there's one specific reason sleeping in unfamiliar places. Additionally, statistics show that sleep paralysis occurs predominantly when lying on your back. It's less likely to occur when lying face down. Science has yet to explain why, but if we delve into spirituality, it might be because the hovering sensation often targets the chest. Sleeping on your back exposes the chest for pressure, whereas sleeping on your stomach does not. Sleep paralysis experiences differ from person to person. Spiritually, there are numerous interpretations of sleep paralysis. Perhaps I shouldn't elaborate further as it might make some of you hesitant to use the restroom tonight, so it's better to let your imagination run wild. Interestingly, scientists have noticed that not only in one particular country, but worldwide throughout history, people believe that sleep paralysis was caused by some malevolent supernatural entity. This suggests that it transcends cultures, religions, regions, and ethnicities. Almost everyone around the world thought that sleep paralysis was the work of demons. However, science offers a different perspective. According to researchers, sleep paralysis is a specific phenomenon that occurs during sleep. Sleep consists of four stages. Stage one marks the initial phase where the body enters a dreamy state with light breathing and relaxation. Stage two indicates a transitioning into a deeper sleep state while retaining some degree of wakefulness. Stage three signifies a plunge into deep sleep, during which even the most enticing aroma won't register if held under your nose, and not even the presence of a celebrity like Ngoc Trin could be sensed. Then comes stage four, the stage where danger and the inexplicable take place. This is the deepest sleep stage with full body paralysis. Oddly enough, the brain remains active and eye movements are rapid during the stage, earning it the name REM or rapid eye movement. It's intriguing, isn't it? While the body is in this stage, various organs cease activity, particularly the limbs. This rest allows them to relax and ensures your safety. Otherwise, your limbs could move as you dream and potentially harm your body. Imagine abruptly jerking awake, running headfirst into a wall and ruining your handsome face. As long as everything goes smoothly, there's no issue. However, occasionally the system malfunctions, specifically during the REM stage. The brain is highly active, generating dreams. But sometimes, the brain awakens while the body remains asleep. Consequently, you're unable to move or utter a sound. This explains the feeling of being pressured or strangled. During deep sleep, breathing becomes weaker. When the brain wakes up and realizes it lacks oxygen, it causes the sensation of difficult breathing and chest tightness. Phenomena like the sense of intrusion or physical touch are believed by scientists to be mere hallucinations between dream and wakefulness. It's a subconscious disorder. That's the scientific explanation for sleep paralysis. The brain wakes up and opens the eyes while the rest of the body remains asleep. It's as simple as that. But why does placing garlic on a knife by the bedside seem to have an effect in reducing or preventing sleep paralysis? Scientists say it's a form of psychological treatment, not an actual supernatural remedy. There's no mysticism involved here. These are two explanations for sleep paralysis based on science and spiritual beliefs. Feel free to share your thoughts and experiences on sleep paralysis in the comments section. Thank you for watching, goodbye, and until we meet again.